Oh, man, you been feeding on a rock, girl? No, 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 baby, I don't sell none of that no more. Mm, you got some crazy eyes on you. Believe me, I don't have to see the freeze-dried ice cream to know a space cadet when I see one. To everyone who said over the years that this is the most fun clan to play, I have to tell you that you were right. I was wrong. And if you play this history, this is also the most overpowered, powerful, easy way to play Bloodlines. The way you min-max this sheet is how I've done it here, where you stack all the points to the right as far as you can. If you don't do it this way, you will lose XP. I'm going into Dementation because with Dementation 3 and Obfuscate 2, that's all the points you pretty much need for the game. That in a shotgun and you can kill every enemy in the game and they're all defenseless. Every single enemy is defenseless. Drew is short for Drusilla. What? Oh, man. And you're a goddamn Malkavian, too. Wow. You really are fucked. We have no melee here, and we're not really going to use... Um, we're not we're not really going to use the second point of dementation. I'm going to speed through this and mostly focus on the highlights of the character. Game's been around a long time. Most of you know how to play where stuff is. I don't need to show that. I've shown that in a dozen playthroughs this year. Look at this, double the duration and 140% damage. Just absolutely incredible. Visually, playing a Malkavian is stunning. I really like it. It took me a while to get used to it, but I really like it. But what I love is the dialogue. I'm gonna send this guy to join the Anarchs. We're gonna see him a little later. Now we have Dementation. I did all the side quests. We have Dementation 3. Now for the rest of the game, we're ridiculously overpowered. Huh? Oh, hey! Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. And that's why I wanted Dementation 3. Every single enemy in the game is locked in place and can't move. With Vision of Death. So with Vision of Death, you're overpowered. Uh, there are two exceptions. The werewolf I didn't try it on, because I didn't have to. And the, uh, the boss in the library, that he's easily killed with a ranged weapon. I didn't have to buy hardly any ammo, didn't have to buy any blood packs until the end of the game. Even then, didn't use any blood packs in combat. I finished with $7,000. This glitch, I got this glitch two or three times. Three times in the playthrough. Maybe four where you feed and the animation starts, but you don't actually get any blood and you have to feed again. Yeah, that was easy. Read some books. There's no reason at all to go into melee. None. We're going to sell that. There's no reason to have it. Don't forget the book in this room. And it is possible to get through this part without taking any damage. Not that it matters. You have plenty of time to recover.
This is a typical fight. I think we have one in melee. Doesn't matter. Every fight looks like this. The 200% uh, duration of the animation just lets me wail on people. Shotguns, weapons. And I finish with a ton of cash. I think I finish with $7,000. Now, I have no melee skill. I'm doing one and two damage. It doesn't matter. I thought it'd be cool to kill him with Dementation. Yep, that's every fight in the game. Every single one, except for the one in the library, because that's added by the plus patch, but he's easily killed. This is a ranged character. You kill everybody with ranged. I killed this guy with Dementation because I want his shotgun. I, I don't need the 38 ammo. Take it. I'd hate to look at it again. Bertram's hiding Get the in bonus an XP oil tank and we move station. on. I'll tell him to expect a visitor and I'll ask him to be extra nice. So we have a ton of XP. We're always going to have a ton of XP. Obfuscate 2. I decide to kill this guy just because I can. I have a shotgun. I could beat him to death. But I want to show you what a shotgun does. Yep, every fight in the game looks like that. And I only had five rounds, but that didn't matter. That was enough. Okay, I'm going to take Obfuscate for the warehouse quest. I had to push up dexterity a little bit. We have obfuscates, we get around this guy. Very, very easy. And of course, we just walk our way out. Plenty of blood, plenty of time. All of the bonus XP, we're good. All of the sneak quests are very easy. But the really cool thing about this clan is the dialogue. and. I see dead people, and it was here that I fell in love with Malkavian dialogue. I started looking for interesting things, insight, cool lines from movies and television. And from this point on, I was loving it. I'm just getting the free brawl point that helps you feed a little easier. This is cool. And we get a free Glock. We get a free every weapon in the game. I buy the 50 caliber pistol. It's a waste of money. You can get it for free if you wait till Blood Hunt, but I pick it up to kill the Chang brothers, but I could have killed them just as easily with the 44 Magnum. Undiscovered family of sea creatures. In other news, an apparent third victim of the Southland Slasher has prompted the closing of the Santa Monica Pier where the body was found early. So the question is, what's more powerful? 
uh, animalism or or dementation. And the thing with animalism is you get blood back with bats. The thing with dementation is there's no way to get blood except to feed. But I found that didn't make any difference in the game. The thing that makes dementation so powerful is that you're overpowered in Santa Monica. You don't have to wait to the end game to get uh, animalism five is very overpowered. But you don't get it until the end game. Dementation three you get in Santa Monica, and from that point on, you're overpowered. Yes, yes, the moon. I have to catch the moon. <laughs> I must hold her. I must hold her in my arms. I must tell her how much. You I'm really mess with no, everybody's mind. No, I mean, really way. mess. This is a scary character. Because you're messing with their reality, their thinking. Yeah, Malkavians are spooky. Okay, we're going to see Fat Larry. So we're, we're going to want to... Uh, he's going to give us the third point. Say now, Wonder Girl, seeing the kind of commando gear you been stocking up on. Beast. Yo, I baby, why you gotta you. shake? Trust me. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. This quest is easy with Obfuscate. All the sneak quests are easy with Obfuscate. It's a good idea to let the dialogue run a little bit here, or the uh, the next part can glitch out. And here I just let them kill each other. I enjoyed these outfits way more than I should have. But hey, I look good in a cowboy hat and whatever that is. Yep, both fun and ridiculous. To the new owner in the morning, then I'm gonna give me a big old stat increase five hundred dollars, forty four XP. Of course, this is easy, easy with obfuscate, and we have, you know, with all specs, you will just crush computer hacking. So. This might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Heather's so dialogue you know in this game is wonderful. We go ahead and get a point from him. I had to reload because of the mouth speak. I had to reload because I did kind of things in the wrong order the first time. For now. So save before you talk to people. I only had to do that twice, once with VV and once with Nines. The rest of the time I figured it out. As someone told me on Reddit, just go slow. Pay attention. Most of the time, it's not hard to figure out. So it is cool to go through here with bats and just get blood with animalism, but this works. So just go through with obfuscate, take out the mail, 
then you can uh, just take out the females and uh, by uh, choking them out or, you know, they're defenseless. Or you can feed on them. Feed on the last one if you need blood. The last one in every room. I have plenty of points, so I might as well do this. Dementation 4 and 5, you don't have to worry about it all until the fight on the roof in the final boss fight. They're pretty useless. Maybe, maybe when you go after Ming Zhao, but humans are so easy to kill. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It, it might be this discipline, just like I hit the feed, it just it just wouldn't take. So, okay, no big deal. There is a morphine bottle here and here. The voices and here. have increased in frequency. Don't forget the ring. We have basically two disciplines at this point that cause NPCs to just stand in place and not move. And we have plenty of blood. And no damage. Yep. I really like these Malkavian outfits. Very cool. And we get some money. So that's good. We get $500 for the loan check. I'll try to get more, you know, when I can. I always let the people walk their route and then I get behind them even if I'm using obfuscate. This was very easy. And dementation will make the last guy drop the key card. We have plenty of blood for this. Now I'm going to park here and let the next guard just walk his path and then go behind him. And at this point, I just decide to show off Dementation. <laughs> yeah, here it works just like Dominate. So we're good. Yeah, and you can stop doing that too. Dementation or hysteria runs for a very long time. Fifty-five XP just sitting in just parked in inventory.
Okay, finance, that'll give us finance four. And then we have the uh, item for trip, that'll give us finance five. Security four with the book, and then five will be an item from Mr. Ox. Yeah, we're, we're in just great shape. And you know that Beckett gave us four when we talked to him at the end of the last mission, and then he'll give us five later on in uh, scholarship. At this point, I have a pile of cash. And I'm going to sell everything and get about 2,000 more dollars in cash, so now we're at 5,000. One of the things I really like about dialogue is not just dementation and dialogue, but random NPCs around you, their dialogue is changed as well. That's really cool. When you fire, keep your eyes. You really have to play this. If you haven't played Malkavian, it's definitely worth it. Stay with it, it's definitely worth it. The insight, the cleverness of the lines, the um it's it's just really cool not so much in Santa Monica but once you get out of Santa Monica and this is the first time I've been able to play past Santa Monica hey, I'm showing you that with uh, no melee at all and a severed arm Well, okay, admittedly, the sword's better. Now you might be thinking, why not use the shotgun? Well, I can kill these guys with a sword. I can kill them with a severed arm. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If I've hit them 20 times, I can easily kill them and they can't do anything to me. Yeah, that even a 38 does more damage than the severed arm. I have a lot more. And all the 38 ammo I use in this playthrough is free. In fact, most of the ammo I use is free. Yeah, that was easy. That was a cool animation. Don't know how I did it exactly, but it was cool. Here I'm moving left and right. These guys can't hit you if you're moving left and right. Not that it matters. I'm just showing you that's another thing you can do. They're easy to kill. Easy, easy, easy. Love the uh, animation effects. The wires and the lights moving.
Okay, that item increases healing rate. Then we pick up some blood. Very cool. Fleshy ball for poster quest. Item here. And I've, I have 44 points. I might as well sink them into some ranged. Kill the Samisi with the shotgun. Yep, very easy. And I had plenty of rounds left over. I don't think I bought any. I think I just picked up free ammo. And yeah, it is easier to kill these guys. I have plenty of rounds left over after the fight, so I'm just going to kill these two guys with a shotgun. Yeah, that was, that was a lot of damage. Okay, this boosts Charisma. We're going to have eight by the end of the game. You're going to console the last two points so you can take the shortcuts in the end game. Look for the symbol above his head. When you see the symbol, hit him again. And with vision of death. Yeah, he joins the long list of characters who are completely defenseless against vision of death. We're going to pick up the blood pack, then we're going to talk to uh, Mitnick and Amalia, talk to Gary. Gary's going to give us some free blood packs, or a free blood pack. Or does he give us two? Then we talk to this guy, and he gives us another point in uh, computer. Now, we've already picked up the book, but we can't read it quite yet. Yeah, I'm just knocking out the... the Mitnick quests. They're very easy. Yeah, all specs. And this is for the poster quest. This is the first Amalia quest. We have obfuscate, so sneaking is very easy. Everything is easy for this clan. Combat is easy. Stealth quests are easy. Dialogue is easy. Everything is easy. Easiest way to play the game. And the most OP. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. There will be more fights in the next episode. And they will look pretty much like the fights you just saw in this episode with enemies standing in place uh, in terrified in fear, getting shot in the head with a shotgun or some other weapon and dying without being able to fight back. And then after that, we go into the end game and rinse and repeat. Um, every enemy is absolutely defenseless. Uh, the, the difference is, unlike Fortitude, where they can hit you and not do damage, 
they can't even hit you. They, they're paralyzed with fear and easily killed. I think you could probably kill every enemy in the game with a shotgun and that you pick up in Santa Monica. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And let me know if you think this is the most OP uh, character in the game with this history. Is this the most powerful character you can play in Bloodlines?